Pistol Pete Vanovich is one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. Did you know that in college he averaged 44.2 points per game at LSU? And that was, a, that was without a three-point line. Analysts say that if he would have played today's game, he would have averaged 58.5 points a game in college. In the NBA, he was a five-time All-Star, and in 1977, he was crowned the NBA scoring champion. Pistol Pete played for the Atlanta Hawks, New Orleans Jazz, and the great Boston Celtics. Today I'll be talking about the childhood, career, and death of Pistol Pete Maravich. Pete was born on June 22, 1947 in Pittsburgh to press in Helen Maravich. Um, so basketball was his entire life. He dedicated his entire life to playing the game of basketball, and here's a quote from him. My whole life had no meaning at all. I found only brief interludes of satisfaction. I was like that my whole life. My whole life had always been about the game of basketball. As you can tell by this quote, Pistol's whole life was about the game of basketball. Did you know that when Pete Maravich was in sixth grade, he was in a, in a high school gymnasium, and he asked the janitor if he could rebound for him. And he said, until I miss, I will leave. And he was in sixth grade, and he shot 170 free throws in a row until the janitor, and purposely missed it so the janitor could go home. Uh, his father, Press, trained him a lot, almost two hours every day doing ball handling drills. Uh, Pistol Pete, every time he rode a bike, he dribbled a basketball. There's a, his dad bought a car and ripped out a car door so when his dad was driving, he could dribble a basketball while he, the car was driving. I mean, this guy was literally insane. He loved the game of basketball. And then he'd also be in movie theaters, dribbling the basketball, and people would tell him to shut up, and he didn't really care. He just kept on dribbling, and <laughs> pretending like nothing was going on. Uh, his dad, Pat, got a coaching job at LSU, and later Pitt would conti uh, continue his career but we're still talking about his childhood. Uh, in sixth grade, he started playing high school basketball and averaged 25 points per game. And uh, as a senior, he got better and better. And he averaged 33 points per game. It had 47 points 40 different times. Uh, Pete would later on play at LSU with his dad as a coach. He would electrify the crowd with his no-look passes, crazy shots, and the crazy ball handling skills he had. Pete, uh, Pete left college early and signed a five-year deal with, worth a $1.9 million contract, and that was 10 times the league average as a player. Pete had many struggles in his NBA career. He started having depression and uh, he started drinking a lot. Uh, he, was, he felt like he was never satisfied because he was always on the NBA team that was never winning, never went to the playoffs, and that really bothered him. And he just, he took everything so personally, and it really took a toll on him. Um, so his mother began to have some mental illness problems because Press and Pete were always playing basketball together and working on their games and stuff, so they left their mother alone a lot, which made her very lonely. She ended up committing suicide on October 10th of 1974. And Pete would never really talk about his mother's death. It was too hard for him. And this was what obviously led to his depression and alcoholism. His teammates said that they, they could find him in a city in Atlanta where he was playing at just anywhere in any bar after games, before games. He was <laughs> drinking in the locker rooms on the bus flights. I mean, he was not doing very well as a human being. Uh, well, he obviously got traded because he was drinking in locker rooms and stuff like that. So they, they traded him to the Boston Celtics. And at the Boston Celtics, he ended up tearing his knee, which was uh, his prime years were over. And after only a season with the Boston Celtics, he decided to retire. So one night in bed, Pistol Pete was laying in bed, and he... Her, he said that God spoke to him and said, if you come to me, I will help you. And, ever from, and he said from that day on, his life was completely changed. He started following the Lord and his word and became preaching the gospel. And just become an overall better human being. More, he, he stopped drinking and became more of just of a better man. He became, married his high school uh, sweetheart, Jackie, and they had two sons together. Um...
So the crazy thing about Pistol Pete was, and uh, he, so yeah, he became a preacher and was talking to people about the Lord and stuff. And one of these times, he went to a local church in uh, Pasadena, California, and he wanted to do a little donation thing, play a couple pickup games with some fans and stuff. And sadly, on that floor, he had passed away. <laughs> he had a heart attack and died at the age of 40. Um, it's, I mean, he literally died doing the thing he loved, so that was probably the best way for him to go out. So today we talked about Pete's childhood, his NBA career, and the death of, uh, of his life. And thank you.